our world and beyond. Space, in partnership with the European Space Agency. Northern Finland, around 800 kilometers from the capital Helsinki, this is Lapland, beyond the Arctic Circle. In this glacial vastness, a herd of reindeer. It's estimated that Finnish Lapland supports some 200,000 of these partially domesticated animals. This year has been quite a good year because there have been uh, no ice layers at the forest side, but a couple of years past there was some snow and then it came some rain and that makes uh, the ice layer at the bottom of the snow and it's for difficult for the reindeers which are at the forest side because they can't dig the land where they can find the food. Lapland's climate is harsh. Even in spring, snow and ice dominate the landscape. This sparsely populated area has been chosen as one of the routes for observation satellites in the program PolarView, a project which is a European Space Agency initiative. In PolarView, we look, for example, uh, in, uh, to produce snow and ice maps of areas, for example, of Norway or Finland. It's very big areas where nobody is living, so you have no direct information. But from satellites we can discover, uh, has uh, the uh, snow surface been refrozen, for example, uh, or is it uh, fresh snow? And this is a very important information. From climate change to gravitational studies, ESA operates many observation satellites focused on the Earth. All transmit their data to ESRIN, the observation center in Frascati, not far from Rome. The center comprises of a whole building where data is continually sent by 10 analysis instruments on board the spacecraft Envisat. Weighing in at 8 tons, it's currently the largest observation system in orbit. Climate warming to natural disasters, nothing escapes its notice. But the observations need to be referenced to refine the data processing models emanating from the satellite observations. In Finland, at its Meteorological Institute, the FMI, snow is studied, its density, the colour and the size of the flakes. Regularly here we do it twice a week, but then we have campaigns for the whole spring and we, we do it there on a larger area several times a day. and then. Uh, we can calibrate the satellite measurements with this data. Analytical observations from Envisat are collected and calibrated by Anna and her colleagues and sent to the centre at Frascati. Between Ezrin and the FMI, the sharing of data is producing precise results. There's always a very close uh, uh, coordination with uh, those who uh, needs this service and applies this service in situ, as we say, uh, there. Uh, because uh, the satellite data are one thing, but to calibrate it with the physical uh, situation on ground is the other thing. If these meteorological centers and others worldwide collaborate with ESA, they do so because they receive great benefits in return. It's a give and take exchange with everyone winning. Indeed, thanks to the assessed satellite data, snow and ice charts are updated regularly and can be accessed by those who need to know. When we are doing these snow maps, the idea is that we combine satellite data and in-situ data in order to find out reliable mappings of these snow characteristics. There are projects we are involved, like this Polar View project of the European Space Agency, in which there are ways to deliver the data to end users by internet, for example. During the harsh Lapish winter, the reindeer are fed by their herders to keep them alive. They're an invaluable source of income. But during the relatively more clement seasons, these animals are expected to roam and to graze on their own. At the springtime, we need the information how much there is snow free land, so it, it's quite important to watch them. So then when it's enough snow-free land, we can release these reindeers to the forest site. 
To be able to use this enormous mass of data transmitted by Envisat, it must be stored and made accessible. To study the satellites at any given moment in any given region, one must be able to retrieve and consult to show year-on-year -year comparisons. This data processing is becoming increasingly effective. We have started an initiative which is called the Climate Change Initiative. Um, the uh, science community has, uh, has written a document saying we need from satellites uh, a set of parameters for long-term observation. And what we are doing now, we go in our archive and start also from the past to produce essential climate variables, as it is called, to respond to this uh, political need uh, to document climate change. I think uh, similar to what has been done in metrology, for example, they decided in 1870 to keep all the data and now we can compare and only by that we know that we have a global warming, for example. Nancy Kiskinen likes to make a little extra money by taking tourists round on sledges to experience the wonders of the Lapish landscape. It's a much needed top up for his income, but at heart he remains a reindeer herder. That means that any advanced information on weather conditions is essential. There's coming some snow, and then it's raining, and then there's coming cold weather. So it means that all the land is covered with ice. So reindeers, they don't find any food. So of course, if I know it like a few weeks before, it's helping me because, because then I know that, okay, I have to collect my reindeers together and put them inside the fence that I can start to feed them and keep them alive. Science to provide a service for the citizen. This is the philosophy adopted by Europe for a series of programs which will impact on us all. Earth observation has a very strong science pillar, uh, but we are in the process uh, to move uh, these applications coming uh, from these scientific um, uh, discoveries into services. And for that we need then, uh, the European Commission. The European Commission uh, on the one hand is responsible for policies, so for many policies like uh, environmental policy, but also foreign policy, security, for all those areas uh, they need Earth observation services and they help us to set up sense systems which are operational, that means which guarantee the access to the data for decades. Our planet is not always blue, nor is the weather always clement. It has cyclical storms and sudden starts which can turn into disasters. But these days, observation satellites can not only take note, but they can also increasingly warn.